Are you passing through Keblavik Airport, either coming or going? Are you hungry and really not looking forward to airport cafeteria food? I've got you covered. There are alternatives. Just on the doorstep of the airport is the town of Keblavik, where I live. And here are my recommendations for places in town where you can eat before or after your flight. Now, before I get chewed out by any of my fellow townsmen here for skipping or omitting their favorite restaurants, I of course have to mention that these are my recommendations. There's of course a lot of other good places around, but these are the ones that I truly enjoy, places I repeatedly visit and can personally recommend. If you're truly hungry and in need of a hearty meal, I think you can't go wrong with the Polish diner on Ringbrück. It's one of those places that serve nice home-cooked meals, big portions, shirt with a smile, reasonable prices, fantastic taste. I go there probably once a month eating at lunch. Now, you may not be looking for something huge, maybe you're in a hurry, then you definitely cannot go wrong with fish and chips at Issis Fish and Chips stand down in Fethier. Biryani is also a fantastic kebab joint. I think they probably sell my favorite kebab in Iceland. The lamb and chicken uh, mix is probably my big favorite. And finally, the Gorilla is a new food truck on the scene, arrived recently here in Keplavik, sells a fantastic hamburger. Other things on the, on the menu as well, but I've only tried the hamburger, tried it twice, was delicious with a side of probably the best fries I've tried in a long time. Then of course, if you're not in a hurry, you want to have a sit-down experience, uh, maybe even spend the night in town, which every sensible person should want to do. Uh, then the uh, big hotels downtown offer that experience exactly. Hotel Keplavik uh, has Kef restaurant, a restaurant where I've never had less than fantastic food, either lunch or dinner. And the library bistro at the Parkin Hotel has fantastic ambience and is my go-to place for a nice evening of, of dinner and drinks with friends. So, in conclusion, there's no reason for you to pass through Keplavik hungry. And now I'm really getting hungry talking about all this food so I'm gonna go grab something out see you in the next one